All right, so uh, we got multiplying polynomials. So all this is, guys, is just multiplying numbers. Okay, so uh, we're multiplying the numbers and the exponents. All right, uh, and what's going to happen is we're going to we're going to add up some stuff that we got. So first example we got is three x squared times x to the third plus four. So basically, you got to do the distributive to each thing. Well, we're going to do. We're going to do 3 times 1, which is that gives me 3. three. And then x to the second, that's 2x's outside, combining with 3x's on the inside to give you a total of 5x's. Okay? And then I'm going to have a 3x squared times plus 4. So four, five, six, seven, what's 3 times 4, though? 12, and then my x's from the outside... All right, just continue, and that one's done. So that's a, a fifth-degree polynomial that's written in standard form right there. Okay? Uh, the second example is going to be done the same exact way. This time it's going to have three pieces, though. So we got AB, all right, to A to the third plus 3AB squared minus B to the third. So I know right away that this one's going to have three pieces. It's going to have a plus... It's going to have a minus and then another piece. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take AB times A to the third. All right, so 1A on the outside multiplied by 3As on the inside. When I combine 1 and 3, how many total do I have? 1 and 3 gives me 4. Okay, 1B on the outside combines, and, and there's no B, so that 1B just stays. I got A to the 4th times B. Okay, now again, I'm taking all of this out here, and I'm taking it to 3AB to the 2nd. So again, the 3 stays out front of everything. All right, 1A on the outside, 1A on the inside gives me 2As total. All right, 1B on the outside, combining with 2Bs on the inside, gives me 3. B to the third. Okay, and lastly, take all that to the last part, B to the third. So 1A on the outside, combined with no A's on the inside, just leaves me with an A. All right, 1B on the outside, combined with 3Bs on the inside, gives me B to the fourth. All right, so in this second example, all right, the first thing that y'all are going to do, okay, I'm going to change colors just for this. All right, let's make sure we're writing these down. I'm going to take the first piece, all right, and I'm going to multiply it by every piece in the, the next thing. So I'm going to take X and I'm going to multiply it by 1. All right, X times 1 is X. Okay, or 1x. Then I'm going to take x and I'm going to multiply it by 3x. So x times 3x is 3x squared. Then I'm going to take x and I'm going to multiply it by negative x squared. So that gives me negative x to the third power. Okay, now the x's are done. All right, I've taken x to every piece, to all three things and the other thing. So now I gotta take that negative two. All right, I'm gonna go purple. All right, I gotta take this negative two and I gotta take it to all three things in the other piece. All right, so let's look. Negative two times one, negative two. I got negative two times positive three X, negative six X. I got negative two times negative X squared, Positive 2x squared. Okay, then all it does, guys, is it goes back to putting it back in order, adding, subtracting, whatever I got to do to make this thing work. So the, the highest thing that I got is x to the third, so negative x to the third. The next highest thing I got, 3x squared, 2x squared, that gives me 5x squared. The next thing I got is just X's. 
1x minus 6x becomes minus 5x. And the last thing is just this minus 2 on the end. So that right there is the answer. All right. So let's talk about example 3. Okay, so just like uh, Dilmar was telling us that this little 3 up top means that you're going to write this out three times. So this technically stands for x plus y times x plus y times x plus y. Okay? So I wrote it out one, two, and three times. All right, so what I end up doing is I end up doing this stuff in pieces. Okay? And there is a shortcut for this. I'll be completely honest with you, though. I can never remember the shortcut. All right? And I'm a math teacher, all right? I struggled when I was y'all's age, remember the shortcut? I'll show it to you at the end, but I always work these out. You say I went the long way home, all right? Maybe I did go the long way home, but that's the only way I knew how to go, all right? I couldn't, I couldn't remember the shortcut way. I'd get lost every time, all right? So when I get something like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the first piece first, all right? So I'm going to I'm just going to hone in on x plus y times x plus y. Okay, we're going to take care of that one immediately. So I can take x times x, x squared, x times y is xy. All right, then I have y times x is yx, or you could, you could say xy again. All right, I should put them in alphabetical order. And then y times y is y squared. Okay? Now, let's, let's kind of finish this one out. xy and xy, can I combine those? Yes. Yeah, that's going to give me 2xy. Oh, okay. Okay? So, I simplified the first part. I'm going to put in parentheses... And we still got to multiply this piece by x plus y. Okay? So I still got to take everything. Now, this turns into the problem that we just did. All right, I'm going to take whatever that first piece is, x squared. I'm going to multiply it by x on the end. Okay? What's x squared times x? So that x squared times x gives us x to the third. Then we got x squared times y. All right, that's x squared times y. Just You just combine the two letters, x squared, y. All right, now next thing we got to do is take all of this, 2xy to the other pieces. So 2xy times x. You got 2x squared with a y. All right. Then you take that to the y. That's 2x, 2xy squared. Okay? Now the last piece, i got to take y squared to both of those. So that's plus xy squared and plus y to the third. Okay? This is going to be a real problem on like a test. This is a real problem on a test. It's too much. I know. All right, so look. A couple things that you, that you already know, all right? Um, my x to the third stays out front. Y'all listen up on this. Okay, now let's try to find all of our x squared y's. And let's group all those. There's only two of them, right? So I got one x squared y plus two x squared y's. How many total x squared y's do I have? One plus two. So I got three x squared y's. Okay. Now I'm going to move to the next thing that is, is grouped together. All right. X, y squared. I got two of them. I got one of them. When I add those together, I got plus three x, y squared. And then lastly, my y to the third is on the end. Okay, that's it. Okay, that would be uh, that would be your example. Now, I am going to show y'all in the book. All right, I'm going to stop the video, but I'm going to show y'all the shortcut. Okay, that works.